I know if you showed up, you are looking to build strong, solid arms. And I have a workout for you today that is gonna give you just that. We are training with supersets for hypertrophy, so you're gonna need your moderately heavy dumbbells, your butt kicking attitude, and we're gonna get right into our warm up. Not wasting another second, we are gonna get straight away into our warm up. We're gonna start with arm rolls, we're gonna do those back, and then we'll take them forward. But let's start here, arms are bent. Nice big rolls back here. I think I said arm circles, didn't I? <laughs> I mean shoulder rolls is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Good, think about lifting those elbows up and over here. We're gonna take it forward in three, two, and one. Take it forward now, just nice rolls forward. Oh my, shoulders, biceps, and triceps. One of my favorite combos for real. I love it, I'm so excited for this workout. I'm gonna tell you straight away, it's gonna be tough, but you are gonna feel so awesome when you push through our tough training today and make it to the end. Two more, here's two. And one, we're gonna take one arm across and then we're gonna take it back into a tricep stretch and then we're gonna take it across. So working between these two stretches, holding it for just a few seconds. Good, a couple more and then we'll switch sides. We're actually gonna use our dumbbells to warm up today as well, just a very light set of dumbbells. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my 10 pounds. We're gonna do the shoulder press bicep curls and tricep overhead extension just to get those muscles ready. Let's switch sides here. Good, and back. So just have your light dumbbells ready to go here in a second. Couple more stretches here. We're gonna talk about form. Very simple form today. We have six supersets. We're gonna work through those supersets two times each. Work for 45, rest for 30, and then in between, our superset circuits after we work through those twice, then we'll get 45 seconds to rest. Last one here, then grab your light dumbbells, we'll start with shoulder press, and then we'll get right into this workout. So starting with that shoulder press, shoulders rolled down and back, we're gonna take it nice and slow. Here we go. Press it up towards the sky. The reason I like to use dumbbells, light dumbbells in the warm up is number one, just to start that muscle activation, help you get that form straight out of the gate. And also, it's just a good way to get that blood flowing in the muscle, or yeah, in the muscles we're gonna be working. So that's why I like to add in just some light dumbbells to get us ready to go. Two more, and then we're gonna do bicep curls. Last one, good, bring those arms down, form, arms tucked in, all the way down, squeeze it up. And down, good. So take your time, think about those muscles working, think about that bicep contracting. So our supersets today, just as a little FYI, all uh, centered around the same muscle group. So we'll have four exercises for shoulders, four for biceps, and four for triceps in that superset style. Last one here, and then we're gonna take it up overhead for tricep overhead extension, so arms up. We'll take it down and press. Go ahead, down. Last warm up exercise, then we'll get into our first superset. Let's do five more reps here. Go ahead, down. Two more. And then we're gonna start with shoulder press right into snow angels. So for that weight, if you need to have a couple sets of dumbbells ready to go, we're lifting moderately heavy. With supersets, we're training hypertrophy, which means we are working on that muscular strength, but we are also working on building that definition. So again, moderately heavy, challenge yourself, grab your weights for shoulder press, and then right into Snow Angel, and we will be ready to go. All right, get that good form right away. Slight bend in the knees, shoulders up. Getting ready to press here in three, two, and one, shoulder press. Exhale as you press up. So because we're gonna be working through each superset twice, pay attention to your weight here. And if you need to adjust for this second set through, make sure to do that. Halfway here. Exhale as you press up, keep those wrists straight. 
Snow Angel next. We're gonna get ready to go right into it. Whew. Countdown is on, we're under 10. So we'll grab those dumbbells, switch right up into it. Here's three, two, and one. Right into Snow Angels, adjust weight if you need. Palms out, here we go. Good. Oh, okay, shoulder press and Snow Angel. Hello there. Okay. <laughs> Don't you love it when the first superset, you're already like, uh, what is this? <laughs> you got it though. I told you it was gonna be tough. We're gonna make it through. And you know, those challenges we go through, that is what makes us stronger. So if you showed up, I'm telling you what, I'm gonna make every second count for you so we can get the most out of our time. You're gonna get a 30 second break very soon. Keep working, keep pushing. Good, here's three, two, and one. Nice. Oh. Breathe. Moving on, 30 seconds of rest. Whew. We're gonna do that same superset once more through. That's gonna be that first circuit. Then we're gonna move on to that second superset. Again, same thing, work it two times through. 15 seconds out. Getting ready for shoulder press. Final time for shoulder press. Grab your weight. 10 seconds out. Getting ready here. I'm, I'm bumping it down quickly. I need to keep my form. Here we go. Let's press. The goal is, yes, to challenge ourselves with our weights. But if that heavier weight is going to put your form in question, drop the weight down and then keep it as a goal to yourself. This is why I love writing things down after my workout. So I can say, okay, I've got a goal to bump up my weight for shoulder press. I was able to do one set, but again, just keeps you on track, keeps you focused and keeps you intentional with your training. Keeps you off that plateau because you can always look back to see where you may have gotten stuck. Whew, Snow Angel next in three, two, one, switch it up if you're switching weights for Snow Angel. And let's begin right into it. Good, Ooh, take your time. Now, as you come up with Snow Angel, make sure shoulders are relaxed. So as you come up, you don't wanna shrug your arms up. Keep those shoulders down. Good, and one thing to help you keep your shoulders down Make sure when you start, shoulders are rolled down and back. So if you start with a rounded back already, it's gonna crunch the shoulders right up to the ear. So make sure shoulders are relaxed, rolled down and back to begin, and then we go. Oh, we're gonna get a nice break. Here it is, three, two, and one. All right, resting it out. Nice break because we are getting ready to move on to that next set. 45 seconds. This next superset still going to work the shoulders. We have got two exercises to work the front and that medial or that lateral deltoid. We're gonna do a, um, an L raise and then we're gonna take it right into a V-sit Arnold press. Now the V-sit Arnold press, you can always do that standing. Um, the the V-sit is gonna challenge our core and stabilizers a little bit more, so that's why we're mixing it up. So grab your weights, have those ready. I guess I could have left my weights out because I'm doing the exact same weight. L raise first, shoulders roll down and back to begin. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go, L raise. Good, take your time, lift. Arms about parallel to the floor. Then we control the weight back down. So don't just let, let the weight drop, control it down. So when we think about that shoulder complex, that lateral deltoid is what gives your shoulder that rounded look. So we are working on building that rounded shoulder right now. And then again, we'll do that with that Arnold press. So getting ready to take it down quickly into a V-sit. Arnold press in three, two, and one. Nice, right into that seated position. Arnold press, here we go.
Good, take your time. Keep that chest up, keep that core engaged. So challenging when we were in this seated position because the core and stabilizers have to activate more because the legs are completely taken out. So you may not notice it when you're doing a standing exercise, but that lower body comes into play. You've got some big muscle groups helping stabilize, but when we're seated, it all changes. Almost there. Good, here's three, two, and one. Awesome. 30 seconds to rest. You can bring it on up. We're gonna repeat that superset one last time, and then shoulders. We've completed all the supersets for that. And then we're gonna move on to biceps. Ooh, stretch it out if you need. <laughs> it's gonna feel so good. We're gonna to wave to our neighbor. And we're like, never mind, can't wave. It's, I'm feeling it. <sighs> L raise. So grab your weights, getting ready to go. Five seconds out, shoulders rolled down and back, slight bend in the knees. And here we go, let's lift. One thing with the L raise too. Keep your shoulders straight ahead. So when we turn to lift, you don't want to turn your body and then try to lift. So keep everything straight. Just lifting at that shoulder joint there. No twisting of the core. You can feel, even as you lift with one arm going forward and one going lateral, you can feel those core muscles activate as well. Getting ready to go back into that seated Arnold press. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Ooh, right away, have a seat. Or again, option to do this standing. Bring it up, and here we go. Good. Exhale as you come up. Awesome, halfway, keep it strong. Remember last time for shoulders here. So really make them count. Whew. Stay focused. I know right now when it starts to burn, mind can wanna wander, but we're staying strong. Building that mind muscle just like we're building the shoulder muscle. Here's three, two, and one. Amazing, 45 seconds to rest. And moving on now to our bicep supersets. Whew. We are starting with a bicep curl, then we're gonna superset that with a wide curl. Grab your dumbbells for that. Again, challenge yourself with your weight. Let's see, I'm gonna do, for myself personally, I'm gonna work with 15 and 20, probably bop between those two, just see. I'm gonna try to start heavy, and then if I have to go down, I will. Just starting with that regular bicep curl. We're about 10 seconds out. So if you can grab your weights, get ready to go. Shoulders are rolled down and back. Breathing. Here we go in three, in two, and one. Let's curl. So a couple of things. We've already worked the shoulders. We don't want the shoulders working when we're working biceps. They might come in a little bit secondary, but if you are curling and you start to lift those dumbbells up and away from your body, that's gonna bring the shoulder into play. We are all focused on the isolation of that bicep right now. So keep those arms pinned in. You can even think about keeping your elbows back a little bit, if that helps you. But take your time, squeeze. I mentioned it towards the end of the shoulders, but I said we're building the shoulders and we're building that mental muscle right now to push through these tough, these tough challenges. So keep that focus here. Here's three, two, and one. Switching right up to a wide curl. So palms come out wide and let's curl. Here we go. Squeeze. Good, shoulders rolled back and down. Exhale as you come up. Keeping that good posture.
Almost there, then we're gonna get that 30 seconds to rest. Count it with me, this is three, two, one. Amazing, awesome job, rest it out. We get to repeat that once more through. Woo. Give, give the biceps a little, little feel, because I, I can tell you, if you feel them, you're gonna feel them, they are already. That blood kind of pumps in there, gets the muscles all ready to go. It's so exciting. I know, I get excited about some, some weird things. <laughs> back to bicep curls. Let's get ready. Shoulders rolled down and back, and here we go. Well, we get excited about what we love, and I know everyone might not love strength training, but you can absolutely love the benefits that strength training gives to you. This might be super challenging for you to show up for strength day, but I just wanna say, <laughs> you may end up loving it just when you start to see the results and how it makes everyday life so much easier. I'm telling you, it's so awesome. That's one of the reasons I love it because it is just unbelievable at what a few exercises, taking a little bit of time each week can do for you. Oh, good. Just gives you that confidence boost too, just as far as being capable of doing so many things. <sighs> Last three, two, and one, right into wide curls. Arms are out, here we go. Now, when we are doing supersets, I know these are getting tough. So if you find, okay, I need to take a break just for a quick second. Just let the arms rest, let the arms hang for about five seconds if you can, and then get right back into it. If you need to hold it for longer than five, that's okay. But the challenge with supersets is we are really burning that muscle out. Good squeeze, come on, you got it. Almost there. I don't know, I think that come on, you got it was for me right now. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, here's three, two, and one. Awesome. Oh, trust me, when I do these workouts, I am doing them right along with you. So I know the burn. <laughs> All right, we are moving on. Final superset combo for biceps. We're gonna do two um, exercises. We're gonna do a kneeling hammer curl, and then we're gonna do a strict curl. So find a wall, something that you can lean your back up against. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. So kneeling hammer curl first. Again, if the kneeling bothers your knees, you can absolutely do this standing. But grab your weights for that hammer curl and let's bring it down because we've got about 10 seconds to go. So same thing if you remember when we did that seated Arnold press just a few sets back. Same thing, it's taking out those stabilizer muscles from the legs and that extra support we get from the legs. So hammer curls kneeling, here we go. 45 on, squeeze it up. Good, and down. Same thing with your hammer curls. We're working to isolate the biceps. So don't let those arms come up and away from your body. Make sure you keep them pinned down into your sides. Good, and squeeze. Next, we're gonna come up quickly and find that wall with this strict curl when we're up against the wall. Head, neck, well not necessarily your neck, but head, shoulders, and back, all pressed up against that wall. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Whew, adjusting it, bringing it up. This is gonna take out any swing that we might have from standing. So leaning that back, shoulders and head up against the wall, and curl. This is just the position, hand position, regular bicep curl. So arms are out. Can you feel the biceps right now? <laughs> what kind of a question was that? <laughs> I don't know. Of course you can. Oh my word, you are working so good right now. Squeeze, come on. Almost there. Here we are. Three, two, and one. Nice. Breathe it out. Biceps may be getting close to hitting failure at this point for sure. So let them get a little shake out here. Let them enjoy this rest. We've got about 20 seconds. 
back. Final set for biceps, the kneeling hammer curl into the strict curls again, where we just pin everything up against the wall and just do those curls. So let's bring it down for that kneeling hammer curl. Ooh, grab your weights, we've got five seconds. Palms facing each other. And here we go, curl it up, squeeze. Almost there. So remember, find that wall. Everything pinned up against that wall. Here's three, two, one. I'm gonna go down and wait because I don't think I'm gonna be able to. My oh my. All right, so pinning yourself up against the wall here. And let's curl. Good. Whew. Oh my. Such good news to know that triceps are the only muscle group left after this. Good, last three. Two and one. Amazing. Enjoy your rest. All right, let's talk triceps. We are going into our last two supersets. For the first superset, we are going to work tricep overhead extension. Then we're going to take it right to the mat. We're going to do a side lying tricep extension. We're going to work one side. So because we go through it twice, one side will work either the right or the left. You can start with whatever one. And then that next set through will work the other side. So just remember which side you are doing because we'll only get one shot at those. But let's get ready. Tricep overhead extension. Now, one or two dumbbells, whatever you feel comfortable with this. Ooh, I'm going to go with this one. Getting ready to go. Five seconds out. So press that weight up. And here we go. And press, good. Squeeze here. When you hit the top of this exercise, when those arms are straight, contract those triceps. So as I come down, you might notice there's a little bit of motion here in the elbows. They come out just slightly. But as you come up, this is where you want to keep everything nice and tight. Those arms are very close to your temples and then down. So just depending on how our arms move, even the um, length of our lever here, you may notice a little bit more of a flare. Now you don't want to overly extend your arms. You want to keep think about keeping everything nice and tight. But as you come up, keep everything close. We're gonna bring it to the ground here in three, two, one. Side lying tricep extension. Now remember which side you are working on. Bottom arm crossed and we press. Good, push through the heel of your hand. Press it up and away. Exhale as you come up. Get that full range. Let yourself come all the way down. You're at a dead stop here. Then you press up all the way. Straighten that arm. Feel that tricep. And then down. Almost there. Again, take a quick note. What sh which side are you working on? Here we are. Last three, two, and one. Enjoy the break. Okay. We're gonna bring that up once more with the tricep overhead extension, then flip it over for this side lying tricep press. Ten seconds out, so bring that weight up. Whew. All right, five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. Good. 
Exhale as you press up right here. Oof. Over halfway. <sighs> Almost there. <sighs> Come on, we're less than 10. Side lying, tricep extension next, that other side. Here's three, two, and one. Nice, let's bring it down. All right. <sighs> So remember, bottom arm crosses over, that top arm is pressing. Here we go, press it up. Press through the heel, really push. Good, Ooh, getting that full extension. Also, keep this arm nice and close to your body. You don't want it too far out. Nice and close here. Just a few more reps. And then we have this final superset. <sighs> I'm trying. Good, there's three, two, and one. I hope we don't have to do anything tomorrow that's gonna cause us to have to push ourselves up off of the ground because I'm not gonna go very far. <laughs> All right, we are moving on. Last two exercises, two times through. Supersets are awesome, are they not? I love it. All right, we've got tricep kickbacks followed by a close grip press. So we'll be back down on the mat, but let's bring it up for these tricep kickbacks first. And then have your weight nearby and ready for that close grip press. All right, so form for this bench. My hair is stuck in my armpit. I'm just, there we go. Got it, sort of, there we go. Hinging at the hips, back flat, core engaged. Bring the arms up, keep the arms close. We're gonna kick it back in three, two, and one. Here we go. Exhale as you come up with those weights. Now with this tricep kickback, hold it for just a second at the top. Feel that little shake in the triceps and then control it back down. Almost there, you got it, stay strong. So we're gonna go right down into that close grip press. Here it is, three, two, one. Switch it up, grab your weights, bring it down. Palms facing each other, arms stay close to your body, and we go. Now with this press, Punch the ceiling, keep the wrist straight. To keep those wrists straight, that dumbbell bar has to be towards the heel of your hand. Fingertips just wrapping around to help control that weight. Fingertips are not holding on to the weight. Almost there. We'll get a nice 30 seconds. Oh, here we go, three, two, and one. Awesome, oh, breathe it out. Last time through, tricep kickbacks to close grip chest press. How you feeling? You've almost made it. You are doing so awesome. I tell you, when we get close to the end, it is just like fireworks. It's so exciting because we just worked through something so tough. And I'm telling you, after this set, we're gonna have a little celebration together. All right, let's hinge it over, tricep kickbacks, bring it down, arms are up, and here we go. So remember with those tricep kickbacks, hold it up for just a second, and then back down. Make sure your back is staying flat. To do that, think about sticking that chest down towards the ground, bringing that belly button up into your spine, driving those hips to the wall behind you. 
So you want to think about elongating through that back to keep it straight. Close grip chest press next. And we are almost there. Countdown is on for the final set of tricep kickbacks in three, two, and one. Nice tricep kickbacks. Let's bring it down. Y'all, this is it. Make it count. Come on. We got it. Here we go. Keep those arms hugging into your sides as they come down. You press up. Now when you're doing any sort of chest press, whether it be narrow or that regular chest press, chest flies, you can have a little arch in your back. So I've got a lot of pressure here on my shoulder blades pushing down, it's arching my back. That's because the power is coming through the upper body. So I just wanted to make sure to differentiate between any ab work we might do when I say keep that low back pressed in. Chest press work is a little different. Oh, we're almost there. Here it is, three, two, one. Oh my God. You, oh my God, you, come on. You did it. That was so awesome. We just worked so hard. I am so glad that you took the time for you today to get strong. Shoulders, biceps, triceps, it's such a fun combo. There were a few times there though, I was like, oh, we are about to hit failure. But we didn't, we kept pushing, we made it to the end of this workout. I am so, you're the bomb, I'm so proud of you. Thank you for showing up today, thank you for showing up for you. I've got one little challenge if you wanna add it on. This is something, if you are working to increase any specific muscle group, I have finishers now. And a perfect combo with this would be the five minute abs finisher. Grab that, again, it's only five minutes, it's intense, but whoo, hello abs, just like we just worked the upper body, abs are gonna be feeling just the same. You are the bomb and I love ya.